Why is picking a CPU so difficult? Like, can we talk about this? If you struggle with this, let me help you. Thankfully, when it comes to brand, there's only two options, AMD or Intel. One of them gets a lot more hate than the other, but that's not up to me. Whatever one you go with, this is gonna help determine your motherboard type. If you already have a motherboard picked out or even purchased already, you have to stay within that. If you bought a Z series motherboard, you're gonna have to stick with Intel. If you buy a B series motherboard, you can go with AMD. When it comes to deciding what CPU you're gonna go for, however, this is gonna determine a lot just on your budget. Honestly, depending on what CPU you go with, the price will vary a lot, but it also depends on if you have other components or what other components you're gonna go with. I feel like this is already getting complicated, but just, just hold on. In my opinion, already having your other components bought or at least picked out will help you determine what CPU is best because you kind of have to stay in a certain range. This PC I have has a 4060 Ti and an i9-13900K, technically a bottleneck. If I went back in time and upgraded my CPU, I know I could have gone with a little bit of a cheaper one and been good, but I was kind of going for longevity. If you plan on doing intense things like, you know, doing 3D rendering or video editing and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna get a higher end CPU, trust me. Now, if you're doing just gaming or literally like just hanging out in Discord, cheap out. Based on the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, what GPU would you go with for the CPU? And if you like this video, make sure to follow me for more PC tips.